Hi, in this uh, video we're going to compare the various online converting programs. Now I've gone and done a conversion on each of the sites and you'll see the links to the sites I've used um, on my post, on my website. First one I'm going to bring in is Pick SVG. So I've created this in their website. We'll bring it into the online version of Canvas just to do a bit of a check on how it looks. And I'll just zoom in here. It doesn't look too bad a job for this one. You can see a few extra little bits. Uh, so if you look around, you can see a little piece there. There's a few little pieces extra. Uh, well, I'll just get rid of the background mat so you can see a bit clearer without the little dots behind. Overall, it's a pretty good job of converting. Uh, that will cut out reasonably well. And if we click and get the nodes up, in a moment, you can see there's a little piece just there. The nodes, there's a lot of nodes. <laughs> okay, so there is a lot of nodes with this one. I think that would still cut out okay though, even though there is lots and lots of nodes for the machine to cut. I'll just put the, um, the cut view on, and that's the lines that it will cut, so they look all right. They look fairly solid cut lines. And this one has got most of the design of the butterfly uh, captured. So you can see it's quite uniform and has captured all the, the cutout components of the, of the butterfly. Okay, so we'll get, go away from that one and make that a bit bigger so we can see. And we'll import this next file. Let's go to Import File. And the next one I've got is SVG Creator website. I created this one in the SVG Creator website. It's exactly the same file I've used. For the, the testing, I, I created each one using exactly the same file. And you can see this one is a fatter kind of finish and it's missing pieces of the butterfly's design. So you can see a bit there, a bit there, a bit there's all missed. Uh, got a lot of nodes as well. Probably cut out okay that one. Um, that's the cut version where you can see the cut lines only. The detail is quite fine and may not cut as well either. Not as good as that first first uh, conversion that we saw from uh, Pick SVG, but not too bad. The welcome looks okay as well in that one. Okay, so we'll just leave this. I'm not saving any of these. I'm just bringing up new designs. Go and grab another one to see uh, what that looks like. So I did a pretty good job of the antenna of that last one. Let's bring in this next file. Choose um, com the Convertio site. So it's the same butterfly design. We'll bring it in. And just zoom in a bit so you can see. Okay, we've got quite a bit missing from that site. So you can see from that first one that we did, there's quite a lot not captured. Oh, it's got quite a few nodes in it as well. We'll just have a look at the cut version of that. And you can see it's definitely not as good. An extra little piece in there as well that you can see. So every cut file, every picture that you try to turn into a cut file will have a different outcome. So it even though uh, these ones are turning out as a variable from each of these sites, you may find that a particular picture uh, converts really well in those sites. So this next one's the online converter site. Let's bring it in. And it's not done a good job capturing, capturing the design either. So we'll have a quick look at it, the cut lines. No, it's not very good at all for that one. For another one that's not as good as that very first one. Next one we'll go to is um, the PNG JPG converter. You can see that that's missing big chunks of it as well.
and that's not a very good cut file either. Welcome's all right, but lots of the the pattern of the butterfly is missing. Let's take that off. I won't do a great job for for that one. Okay, we'll go again. Bring in another new design. So this is the pick SVG again. That one's zipped. We'll just do a quick flashback to what we saw before. Zoom in. You can use your uh, zoom tool to zoom in. It's actually this actually is looking by far the best one at this point. So even though it's got a few of the um, extra pieces to clean up, it's pretty good. And I reckon, I'll just take that view back. And those extra pieces will be easy enough to remove and may not be part of the design anyway. No, there's a couple of, see they're loose, there's a couple of loose pieces. You can just delete those little tiny bits and then you, you've cleaned it up really quite easily. But overall, that so far is the best one to choose. And that was the Pick SVG site. And the worst one, let's go... I'll open up another file. This is Cute Cutter. Mm, this I can already see this is not good. All those broken lines will cut in a funny way. And you won't get a clean cut. It hasn't even done the welcome very good on that one. Which is interesting. All the other welcomes were quite good. Mm, it still looks alright if you look at the cutting lines. But I think you'll find it won't cut nicely. And I'll just bring up all the nodes. That will be the really telltale piece. Might need to zoom in so you can see them a little bit better. We'll zoom right in. You can see all the missed areas. Those areas won't cut. So this will not cut nicely whatsoever. All those um, areas there. So this is not the one we would choose for this. Anyway. I hope this has given you a bit of an insight on how these all work.